Hey guys, what's up? My name is Prez, and welcome back to some more NHLB Pro episode 14. We're going to continue the playoffs here. If you guys didn't know that we're actually in the playoffs, we're in the first round. We are up by two games, so we have to win this game and the next game to probably make it to the next round. We probably have to win the next game after that to actually fully get into the next round. Um, but anyways, you guys are killing it on the likes and comments and everything else you just guys are just killing it and uh i am very very happy and uh you guys are just just blowing my mind every time i upload a video you guys are just blowing my mind on the likes and the comments and the feedback i'm getting it's just tremendous but anyways i'll see you guys when we get on the ice all right guys so we're on the ice in the third period and we're down by one and i have a breakaway Scores! <laughs> On our first shift, we have tied it up. Amazing. And today, I wanted to actually talk about the NHL. I want to talk about the NHL. Since the NHL has started, I couldn't really talk about the NHL the beginning of the series because the like NHL preseason didn't really start. And um, so I'm going to talk about the uh, NHL preseason. Today, we're going to talk about the, the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. So I mostly follow the Western Conference because that's uh, the Western Conference is where my team is. That's my team's conference. So we're going to mostly try to talk about that, but I'll definitely talk about the other divisions and other conferences in the NHL in future episodes. So, but anyways, so what happening? What's happening in the Eastern Division so far with the teams and the ratings and? everything else the points and everything this doesn't really matter when it comes down to it it does not matter at the end of the preseason everything gets resetted everything gets reset not resetted reset so this doesn't really matter but um, right now Boston is first in their uh, division Boston is first with six points uh, they got they got three wins zero losses and they got six points so that's six points uh, Toronto's in second. Detroit is in third. Florida's in fourth. Ottawa is in fifth. Buffalo is in sixth. And Montreal and Tampa Bay are in seventh and eighth. So um, that's the Atlantic division. We're going to move on to the next division. Um, it might sound a little bit bad because I'm running, I'm like pointing towards, like away from the mic. But I just moved my mic to make it probably a lot better when I turn my head. But anyways, we're going to jump into the next division. We got Washington in first, Philadelphia in second, Pittsburgh in third, New York Islanders in fourth, New York Rangers in fifth. Colo That's not right. Yeah, there, why is there more teams? Anyways, New York Rangers in fifth, Columbus in sixth, Carolina in seventh, and New Jersey in eighth. That can't be right. Hold on here. That is right. I am right. I am right. So, yeah. So, Washington has... Um, oh, I forget the name of the points. Uh, Boston has six. Toronto has six. Detroit has five. Florida has four. Ottawa has three. Buffalo has two. Montreal has one or two. And Tampa Bay has one. Washington has five points. Philadelphia has four points. Pittsburgh has four points. New York Islanders, four points. And New York Rangers, three points. Columbus, three points. Carolina, zero. New Jersey, zero. Now, obviously, by this time, by this video comes out, there's probably going to be even more points. See, that's why that's why I kind of don't like talking about the NHL, and I have to talk about the NHL because I'm playing NHL. But, um, anyways, yeah, so... These points are definitely going to change by the time you guys are actually seeing this video. And, oh my god, we scored again. But, anyways, we're going to move on to the uh, Western Conference. We got Nashville in first with seven points st louis in second with four points um minnesota is that minnesota yeah minnesota in third with four points chicago in in fourth place in fourth place with two points Colorado with two points winnipeg with one dallas with zero so they have lost a game and they haven't won a game yet they have lost three. They have played three games and lost all three games uh, in the current um, 
preseason. This is the preseason. So if the regular season comes out <laughs> by the time this video comes out, or the preseason's already started, or in the regular season already started, then this this topic's kind of pointless. But anyways, uh, we're gonna move on to the next divi the next uh, Pacific Division. That was a central division that we just talked about, those teams. And um, we're going to move on to the Pacific, which my team is actually in. My team is actually in the Pacific Division. So we're going we're gonna to mostly... I'm going to mostly try to talk about my team, the team that I like. So it's kind of appropriate because the, te the team that I like, I'm going to talk about them. But anyways, since we're on the bench, we can actually try to focus on this. We're going to hide this so you guys can see the game in the background. But uh, anyways... So we got Edmonton in first with six points. Los Angeles in second with four points. St. Joe's with three points in third. Vancouver in fourth with two. Calgary in fifth with two. Anaheim, my favorite team, in sixth with one point. Arizona, one point in the, in the last place. Now, obviously, like I keep on saying, this is the preseason, so these points don't really matter. So... But anyways, a lot of commentators said a lot of people that talk about like sports and sports analysts and all that stuff. I'm not really a sports analyst, but I wish I could be, but I can't. <laughs> I don't really follow the game that much. I just follow my team. The sports analysts follow multiple teams. They follow all the teams in the NHL. They follow all the news outlets and every single team and all that stuff. So I don't have the time to do that, but I only have time to focus on one team and that's my team. And obviously I could check the NHL. Um, every single day when the game's on and off and blah, blah, blah. And I can take a look at the scores and all that stuff. But I can't really tell you guys who's going to win the Stanley Cup and who's not. And tell you guys like the full on stats of each player and all that stuff. I can't really do that. But I can tell you guys that um, sports, sports analysts, that's why I keep on talking about sports analysts. Because sports analysts was talking about the Anaheim Ducks. And they said the Anaheim Ducks has a strong potential to become the Stanley Cup champions this year. We have a really strong team. We picked up a really strong defenseman um, from Vancouver, uh, Kevin Bilexi. So we picked him up. Amazing player. Amazing defenseman. So we picked up an amazing defenseman. And we lost a couple good players. And we also gained a couple good players from um, some, the OHL, like some teams. Even if we made it to the playoffs, we still made out pretty good to recruit players to get new players on our team. We actually still did pretty good, even though that we made it to the playoffs and we couldn't go into the um, we couldn't go into the draft. But if we if we didn't make it into the the playoffs, we could have went to the draft if we could have got a lot better players. But we got good players either overall that we didn't make it to the playoffs. So we we made it to the playoffs, but we didn't make it to the draft. That's what I was trying to say. But anyways, we picked up a couple. We picked up a lot of good players um, for this season, and I know it's a preseason, so we still have 57 people, 57 players in our training camp right now. And then in the Anaheim Ducks training camp, we still have 57 people to go through, and all those people are definitely not going to make it to the team, obviously. Um, but uh, a couple good players are going to make it to the team. They're trying very hard. This is what basically the preseason is for. But the preseason is for, is for like the rookies to show off to the coaches and to the staff of the team to actually try to make it to the team, trying to make it to on the team and all that stuff. So they have to play good. They have to play excellent for the next year or two years, how much their contract is. They still have to play for that amazing time. So, it's preseason's mostly made for the rookies, but you guys will see like main players on there, They're, like the main roster basically. If your team hasn't really made it any changes to it, you guys will just see the like, the regular players and all that stuff. Like Chicago, you guys will see the regular players. Anaheim, you'll see a couple of new players. I don't know if Chicago picked up a good players or not. A couple few players, I don't know, but I know Boston made some big changes to the roster. And um, they looking, they're looking pretty, pretty good in the preseason. They're looking pretty awesome right now in the preseason. The roster they have is a lot faster, a lot faster than the last one they had. They're trying to get a faster team. They're trying to to get a little bit faster overall, like overall team. They're trying to get a little bit faster because in the past seasons, past years, they've been pretty slow. They've been they've been fast, but they haven't been really catching up to 
the the speed of the other teams. That's what I'm trying to say. And you guys might have a different opinion on this. Of course, you guys are subjected to your own opinions. You guys are allowed to have your own opinions and all that stuff. So, anyways, but anyways, yeah. So Boston kind of was kind of like the team. They're kind of like the the um uh, the goon, the goons of hockey. Basically, they're the, the, the goon team. Basically, they're the team that will fight and hit every everybody. They'll fight everybody. They'll hit everybody. They'll do anything out of their way to hit you. They'll do everything in their power to try to fight you and all that stuff. They're pretty much the goon team of the NHL. Now, I don't think this year there is. They're going to be the goon team of this year. If you guys don't know what a goon is, a goon is the person who will fight a lot. In the who will fight a lot and a lot of hit a lot of hits and all that stuff. They'll be the people that the team that some teams need to actually like the goons are basically the people that hit people, basically, and everybody or the reinforcers. Everybody needs reinforcers on their team or enforcers or any reinforcers or whatever you want to call them. They they every team needs them, and so the Ducks have some. Every team has some. Every team has an enforcer, or a couple of them, or just big guys, basically. Just You just need big guys that can take a hit and that can produce a hit on the play to get the puck out to the centerman or the left wing or the the right wing or everybody. Anybody that's on the ice that can score and that can actually get the puck in the net. Because really, the goon, the goon is the person that really doesn't really shoot the puck or go any goals they're mostly just there to fight that's basically what their contract basically says you're here to fight you're here to get hits you're here to get penalty minutes you're here to rough up the other team that's but it's basically what a goon is and every team has some every team has a goon so i'm just trying to focus here on the game now because we're only up by one and i almost deep that goalie out I almost deked him out, guys. Can you believe that? I almost deked him out. So tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of the NHL preseason so far? Who who are you most and what team are you most interested to watch? Um, I'm most actually interested to watch uh, Connor McDavid, but I know they're not going to play him on Monday. Uh, you guys are seeing this on Wednesday, of course. But uh, Edmonton's not going to play Connor McDavid on Monday for some reason. I don't know why, but they're not going to play him on Monday, and uh, they're probably just going to give him a break because he's um. He is pretty big. He's going to be pretty big for Edmonton, and he's going to be basically the spokesperson for the Edmonton team, basically. They're going to be the spokesperson for Edmonton uh, for now on because he has so much so much hype behind him that they're going to they're going to expect a lot of things from this kid and uh, it's going to be it's going to be amazing to watch him grow in the NHL and see how he does. If anybody's going to try to take him out because there's always somebody that is jealous of what you're doing and how how good you are at that at that thing and they're getting mad because you're better 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 of them like you're better at it than them that's what i'm trying to get at and so they're going to try to to some players are probably going to try to take him out uh it, it sucks it sucks that you're going to have that behind their back you're going to have that behind your back if you're NHL superstar basically you're gonna have that behind your back that somebody's gonna try to take you out and it's just it's awful it's awful to it's awful to I can't believe I got that goal it's awful to think about that and uh, all that stuff but uh, it's gonna happen he's gonna get an injury he's gonna slow down he's not gonna be the person that everybody expected to be because look at the Sidney Crosby Sidney Crosby was an amazing player he's still an amazing player he's still getting the goals the points everything but i think after that hit after that one hit after that concussion that he had it just really slowed him down it just really just slowed him down it's just awful to see that happen to an amazing player and all that stuff i don't like i like Sidney cross i don't like Sidney crosby but i respect him as a hockey player and an amazing skills that he has as a hockey player but i just don't like him um, it's just one of those things that some people just don't like. Like, like I'm I'm not mad because he's better than me in hockey or anything like that and all that stuff. Or he has more money than me, and I'm just I'm not complaining about that. It's just I just don't like him. That's it. But I respect him as a hockey player and the skills that he has. Like a lot of people re didn't like Wayne Gretzky. A lot of people didn't like Wayne Gretzky. 
you guys could believe that. But a lot of people didn't like Wayne Gretzky. But they respected him as a hockey player and the skills that he had and the skills that he produced in the hockey game. So he had the skills to produce hundreds and hundreds of goals every single year. But people didn't like him, but people did respect him. Now, he's an amazing hockey player, Wayne Gretzky. He is going to be, he's still the best hockey player to my in my mind and to my records that he is still the best. Nobody will ever beat his records that he has. Nobody will ever beat whatever record. Like some, I think Sidney Crosby beat like one of his records, but he's going to be great. He's going to be like he was great. He wasn't going to. He's not going to be great because he retired. But he was a great hockey player, and um, I actually have a rookie card, like a rookie hockey card of Wayne Gretzky's. I have a Wayne Gretzky rookie card. That's probably worth. A lot of money but I have it and I have it locked up so yeah so I have a I have a rookie card of Wayne Gretzky can't believe that actually it's my dad's so basically when um it's my dad's basically but it's mine like his card collection is basically mine and his put together so um he collected the cards over the years when he was a kid and he watched Wayne Gretzky play and he watched all the greats play. And his favorite player was uh, Bobby Orr that played on Boston Bruins. His favorite player was Bobby Orr. We actually got assigned. Uh, we actually met. I actually met him. Uh, my dad met him, actually. And um, he actually got a picture signed by him. So we got a picture signed by him and all that stuff. And a hockey stick. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this episode of NHL Be a Pro, make sure you guys smash the like button. If we can get more than 10 likes, if we can get more than 10 likes... That would just blow my mind. And uh, I think you guys can actually get there because you guys are actually getting more than 10 likes on this series. But if we can get if we can get 10 likes on this video, that would be amazing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am Prez, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.